Hi, welcome to this setup. It's a new Arch Linux 19.10 from October. It's not October yet, it's 29th of September. But um, we're gonna make an installation Arch Linux D in the video. And later on, the new desktop environment and tiling window manager, which is called Herbsluft WM. Now, I have already made uh, some announcements out about scripts I use. And you can go and have a look at um, Arco Get Started 1. Just type it in on the browser. And in there, you will find um, uh, information, what it is, what it does. And I download this stuff always, and you get this Get Started thing. I run mostly this one, the minimal start here, and all the stuff is going to be moved over to my system. So people always ask, Eric, I have something on a hard disk. I'd like to move it to an SSD or something or to an external hard disk. Never mind if there are tools like Clonezilla and all that and time shift. Do a clean installation, then get the data back in um, from cloud or hard disk or USB. That's still the best approach because you still have these hidden folders that you're gonna uh, import as well. So in here we have Ctrl H, all this stuff from all the things you've installed prior um, will be imported again and maybe also some errors again. So the clean installation is best on Windows, on Mac, on Linux. Now, left with that, with that's uh, been said, let's go and have Super F7, which is virtual box for us and Super F7, F if virtual box is installed, this pops up and in the same um, the same scripts you, I just mentioned, everything is gonna be copy pasted over. So all of this is copy pasted over, but also my virtual box, virtual machines is ready. It's just a template, but it's ready for me to just use. So all my settings have been set in advance. So going to this one and this is my template. Quick look at my template settings these days. These that it always changes, and that's a good thing that it changes. So um, it's up to you to decide what you want on your system. Linux Arch Linux 64, advanced description system. I've only given it not 50/50. I have 16, so 8 would be 50/50. A little bit less, still enough. Not gonna enable EFI, so gonna go for an MBR installation. Processor, 50-50, yes, that's true. Enabled, yes, this is standard. And then another choice we've made these days. Uh, we take these days VBox SVGA, so I'm gonna change this. Was VGA, SVGA works as well. Uh, what I should be trying someday is, is this one. This did not use, did, in the past it did not work. Um, maybe with all the updates it does work, I don't know. But this one works and this one works for sure. That has been tested. Giving a video memory to the max I see. And this is all like this. And that's it. For me, those are the settings. So I've just changed this line here, VBox SVGA, an extra S in here. Now, I need to go and get my Article Linux D ISO, the one that I've built. So there's nothing yet available. I've been working on InSync and in InSync, you can actually say, I want to sync something from uh, the internet. So in shared, there is the Arch Linux team and we can actually say, sync me all of this, but it's a little bit much. I wonder if I can just say one of them. So Arch Linux D there's an LTS version, there's a D version without LTS. I'm gonna sync this one. So this is my online Google Drive and this is a paid application of which I'm now also co-maintainer to maintain this application so it keeps working on us. And it's a paid one, so yeah, sh should keep, uh, it, it has to work, all right. So I'm downloading this one. You can actually see what's happening here. Oh, it's already there, too late. So a green sign here means it's actually there. So let's just install it, otherwise the video will be super long. Um, InSync is here, and then shared Arch Linux team, here it is. 
So this will be the new one and mid-October we'll have this one. And then the show switch. Click here. Click here. Start it up. So every message, read the message and then click it away with this button, not with this button, but this button. You won't see it again. And then we boot up in VirtualBox Clinics D. So we can film it. It's um, the welcome screen. It says here Aclinix D, Aclinix D, Aclinix D. You choose your language. So what language do you want Calamaris to be? And can I keep American English or the system? Uh, you can see about what version we're using and we can just go for next. This is normally working. So the geo IP, if the server is down, you have to put it, you have to set it yourself or use a drop down. That's no problem. System language can be set here and changed as well. It's now this one and the numbers and dates can be changed as well. Next. Don't forget to do this because you need to have your, your personal keyboard. So mine is a Azerti keyboard from Belgium that I need to select. Next. Then there's a lot of choices and we have a Calamaris. Um, um, all you need to know about Calamaris on articlinux.com. So go and have a look at that article. That's showing you what you can do also with encrypting that some of the people want to try to encrypt it. It's possible, but only uh, with the setups that we've been trying out there on that article. So not bothering about encryption not bothering with swap either so you can choose a big swap a small swap and no swap at all with 16 gigabyte i just shut down and doesn't need to go to sleep for me or hibernate or whatever i just shut down in the evening and that's it so that's a good setup for me next it's the d version and this is of course something you know. This is a personal choice. Log in automatically without asking for password. Some of the desktops it works and some of them uh, we still need to fix something in, in Calamaris probably. We're following it up with an issue on their GitHub. And you choose um, the same password or not for the administrator account or the root account. You check it, what it says here, we have an MS-DOS word, we're thinking, he's thinking it's an MBR. And for the rest, all is explained here, and we are going to install this. So this is the critical part here, it's going to divide your hard disk into partitions, and if something is wrong, again, there's this great article which uh, gives you so much Linux information, how to um, overcome difficulties with Linux. So the Calamaris, all you need to know Calamaris tutorial there is a super thing. Maybe uh, we can have a quick glance at it. I'm going to my close other tabs to my other screen. ArcLinux.com, moving it over here. We have a menu for Calamaris. So Calamaris is the installer, that's what's uh, now working here and that's the title i'm talking about all the time the calamari series all you ever needed to know about calamaris and it's a pretty pretty long article just open it for you you see the slider here and it's going to explain a lot and lot and lot of information about calamaris as well so if you want to get technical it's in here encrypting it's in here swap partition is in here dual hard disk dual um uh, yes dual hard disk so maybe i'll find the image somewhere four partitions five partitions it's all in here here you see four operating system on one hard disk it's tricky but it can be done it's no problem um etc etc you take a look at this article it will boost you with your knowledge as simple as that all right let's wait for this installation to finish installation is finished so what you need to do now is take a look at articlinuxd.com and say what phase are we in. Phase two means XFC Openbox i3, so the same desktops as the big ISO. 
Phase 3 is moving away and taking another one. And the video we're going to make is the one for inst installation of Arch Linux D later on. So that's the latest and newest um, desktop we have. So everything done, restart now. What we get is a arch-like uh, screen in the sense it's gonna be black, it's in a terminal, it's a TTY and then you need to do some stuff. So this is where it becomes interesting. This is where you need to do some elements. Let's continue in another video and install Head of Sluft WM.